you've got your super trickler, you've watched my other videos showing you how to get your powder charges set up, and now you wanna do something really cool with it. Well, how about we do a ladder test? Now, the really cool thing about how the super trickler works is that you can program it to do just about any kind of ladder test. I'm gonna show you how. For the sake of, of this test, I'm just gonna, you know, we're gonna pretend that we're loading six rounds. We're gonna be doing two charges at each powder weight. So three different powder weights, two charges each. Uh, I'm not gonna be actually dropping powder into the brass, but just visually so you understand what we're trying to achieve here. Here's how you do it. We're gonna go into select, we're gonna go to mode, and we're gonna choose ladder. And what this gives you is a bunch of options. You have the number of steps, so that's gonna be the number of charge weights the number of rounds per step, and then the step increase with a starting charge or ending charge. And you can do the ladder test two different ways. One would be to know what you want the increments to be. So in this case, 10 steps, five rounds per step at a tenth of a grain change. You know, if I go to 56 grains, then it's gonna go 56 to 56.9. And so that's gonna be 10 different charge weights, five rounds per charge at a tenth of a grain increment. But let's say you've got a brand new cartridge, new powder, whatever, and you just wanna cover a really wide range to see what, what the powder or cartridge does. And maybe you don't wanna necessarily do it exactly even. Uh, maybe you just wanna do five quick charges or you know five, five charge weights or 10 charge weights over five grains or something. What you can do is you can actually pick, uh, let's say we wanna do 52 grains to 56 grains. Well now 10 steps is gonna cover uh, 0.44 grain, so almost half a grain. Uh, so um, then it'll automatically you know, calculate. If I wanna do 50 grains to 56 grains, well now it's 0.66 grains per step. So it automatically will do all the math for you, which I think is really great because there's times where you don't really care. You just wanna get a kind of a, an idea of, of where that powder charge is working across a bunch of uh, a bunch of you know uh, charges, and you know, and then you'll kind of you know hone it in and probably do like a tenth of a grain or two tenths of a grain. But this way, you know, you're getting absolutely equal uh, spacing between the the charge weight that you start with and the charge weight that you end with. But for the sake of this test, let's do three steps, two charges per step, and we're going to do a uh, tenth of a grain starting at 56. Okay, so three steps, two rounds per step, tenth of a grain per step starting at 56, which means we end at 56.2. Let's hit begin. We're gonna put our powder cup on here. Uh, I have not primed uh, these tubes. I just turned this on and got it going. So the first charge is gonna probably take a few seconds longer. We're gonna hit ladder and start. So now it's on charge one, round one. Uh, that, that fine tube is gonna be priming right now, so it'll take a second. Now, if for some reason this overthrows, it will not count against uh, the round count that it has. So we're on charge one, round one. There's the first charge, so we would theoretically dump that in our case. Now it's on charge one, round two. And it also helps, you know, if you're counting, okay, one, two, one, two, one, two, you know, now you can see what it's on. Okay, I know it's on the first charge, it's on the second uh, round. Okay, so round one, or charge one, round two. We're done, now it's gonna automatically go to the next charge weight. So now we're on charge two, round one. Again, if I was looking at my brass, I'd say, okay, second charge weight, round number one. Okay, so that one's done. And I've got this set a little more conservatively right now, so we probably won't get an overthrow. But if you do get an overthrow, uh, it won't count against it. So you can rest assured, 
it'll keep up the round count for you. But I do like that there's a visual representation of where I should be, you know, in my rack, because typically you're gonna have, you know, rows uh, to designate your powder charges. So there was charge two, round two. Now we're on the last charge weight. Okay, so that was charge three, round one, and now we're on the last uh, round of the final charge weight. Oh, forgot a kernel. But it really takes uh, a large margin of error out of it. You know, you no longer have to sit there and think, okay, you know, did I bump it up this time? You know, do I need to go up a tenth, a twenty, you know, you know, whatever it is, um, you know, two tenths of a grain, three tenths of a grain, uh, whatever your your bump is. Uh, now you know that you are on track. You can lay out your brass. You know exactly what round you're on, what charge weight you're on. So there you go. That's it. That's the end of the ladder testing. Ladder has now turned off here. Uh, if I go into select, uh, whoops, if I go into modes, it automatically went back to normal because the ladder testing was done. So now I could, if I needed to, to throw any particular charge weight, I could just type it in and, and go from there. But there's a really quick example of how to do the ladder testing, but I think it's a pretty powerful tool and it gives you a lot of options to customize how you want to do that ladder test. So hope that helps you. You guys have a good one. We'll talk later.